There is a new trend involving a very old religion. More and more Americans, it seems, are turning to Buddhism. One of the primary Buddhist principles is that money does not guarantee happiness and wealth can come and easily go. Tonight, our own anchor Dave Ward has a closer look at a local man who says Buddhism changed him, and now he's hoping he can help to change Buddhism. So Buddhism is going to change as it comes to the United States. Blue-eyed, fair-skinned, born and raised in the USA, but to Buddhist, Michael Schlosser could be the face of the future. 26 million Americans uh, are influenced by Buddhism on a daily life. He spends his days on the grounds of this Buddhist temple in Port Arthur, Texas, slow and peaceful, a far cry from the life he once knew. In 1970, he went in the Air Force. When I came out of the Air Force, I entered the seminary, Catholic seminary in Houston. He spent the next 20 years devoted to the Catholic Church, but Slosser says he still wasn't satisfied with his life. He felt like there was something missing. He left the church and he entered the corporate world. For 16 years, Slosser worked in public relations, caught up in the rat race, and still unfulfilled. It's, it's not something that happened overnight, right? It's not something that just popped, but over a period of time, I started to look at uh, the differences between uh, Eastern philosophy and Western philosophy. Finally, something clicked. It's like you kind of know when you reach the right spot. I knew right then. A year after his study of Buddhism began, he was ordained one of the first Anglo-American Buddhist monks. All of my brothers are Vietnamese, but they have an American brother. You know, and uh, I think most of them are very happy with that. Now known as Reverend Bonte Kasapa, many believe he can help shape the new changing face of Buddhism. I just went to Houston, um, I went to about seven different temples, and everybody is very, very happy to see American monks. What makes Buddhism different from most religions is there is no creator or God. The founder of Buddhism was a young prince in Nepal. Upon realizing that wealth and luxury did not guarantee happiness, he set out to find inner peace. That was the year 563 B.C., the same journey Reverend Kasapa believes many Americans are eager to embrace today. You're young, and you have a chance to do a lot more than I ever had. Now the student has turned teacher. What is the biggest challenge do you think I will have going forward? Like Slosser, 25-year-old Matthew Roan wants to become an American monk. And he kind of brought a... Uh kind of a little wedge in between the ethnic Buddhist temple because previously it was mainly Vietnamese. Buddhism currently ranks as the fourth largest religion in the world with Roan and Schlosser joining 350 million others it is a number expected to grow. There's a lot of comments uh, about whether or not uh, it'll be a strong or maybe watered down version but I don't think so. You heard Dave mention that Buddhism is the fourth most popular religion in the world, so what are the top three? Christianity ranks number one with 2.1 billion followers, Islam number two with 1.5 billion, and number three, Hinduism with 900 million. If you'd like to find out more about Buddhism, just log on to our website at abc13.com.